I just walked in on my husband making out with my sister. Please help. I am absolutely devastated right now. I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to start. My sister, Lisa 33F, lost her husband, Jimmy, two years ago in a motorcycle accident. She did not take it well and closed herself off from the world. A year ago, she reached out to us and told us she was having a hard time adjusting and said that she needed help. I helped her find a good therapist and she has been getting her life back on track. My 29F husband, Rick 30M, felt bad for her and started spending a lot of time with her. For the past six months, they have spent more and more time together. At first I was fine with it because she was finally becoming like my sister again. She started smiling. I was so happy for her, and so was my husband. They started spending more time alone from me which I didn't think much of at first. Then they started spending more and more time alone and I got a little jealous. I told my husband I would like it if we could spend more time together and that I was feeling a little neglected. He said okay but nothing changed. Today my sister came to my house crying because she had a dream about Jimmy. My husband and I comforted her but I was a little annoyed because the second I let her in my house she ran into my husband's arms. We all went into the living room and sat down. My husband asked her what happened in the dream and she actually asked me to leave the room because she didn't feel comfortable telling me. I was so upset at this point I immediately left and started tearing up in the other room. I was in the other room for around 10 minutes when I heard a loud sound in the living room so I got up and went there. I could not believe what I saw. I am literally crying my eyes out while typing this up. They were fugging making out. On my couch. In our home. WTF my entire fugging world has just been shattered in front of my very eyes. I ran out of the room because I was going to vomit right there and locked myself in my room. My husband hasn't even tried to come in. I have been crying nonstop. Please help. The two people I trusted more than anything. What the hell do I do? Edit. Well, I answered the door. Rick walked and wouldn't even look at me. He mumbled something and went and sat on the bed. I was so angry that he wouldn't even look at me that I almost left right there. I asked him what the hell was going on with him and my sister. He sat there for a few minutes without saying anything while I was crying my eyes out until I finally yelled at him to answer me. He whispered that he loved her. At this point I lost it. I started yelling how could he do this to me. Do these past ten years mean nothing to him? Literally dropped to my knees and asked how could he betray me with my own sister and then tell me he loves her? He was quiet the entire time until I stopped yelling. He said that he had been regretting not experimenting with other women before we got married and that he shouldn't have married the first girl he was with. I was stunned and asked if he even ever loved me. He said yes but that after spending time with my sister he realizes she is who he wants to be with. I had no words. I didn't have any clue what to say. All my life was falling apart in front of my eyes and I was scared. I told him I might be pregnant and he said that he would support me. I asked how and he said he didn't know but that he was leaving me to go be with my sister. He apologized to me and told me I deserve better than him and that he will do whatever he can to help me and the baby and if I agree to divorce him he will give me everything. Just once out of our marriage. In that moment I felt like I hated him and never wanted to see him again so I screamed at him fine just get the fug out, you ruined my life I hope you are fugging happy you piece of shit. And then he had the audacity to try to hug me. I flipped out and pushed him off of me. Someone knocked on the door then he told me that he still loved me and we would figure everything out and left. I decided to call my parents and tell them what happened. My mom dropped a bombshell on me that my sister told her that she had feelings for my husband and that she wanted to be with him. Why she didn't tell me this I have no fucking clue but I feel like everyone is against me. Right now I am sitting on the computer looking up lawyers in my area. My entire life has gone to shambles within hours and I am terrified. Tomorrow I am going to go get a pregnancy test, I just hope to fucking god I am not pregnant because I do not want to have this piece of shit's baby. God, guys, I am so fucking upset right now. I want to fucking drink right now but I won't in case I am pregnant. Jesus I hate my life I wish I had the heart to kill myself right now. Update 1. Thank you everyone for your kind words and PMs. Your words really helped me when I was in the lowest possible spot I have been in. A lot has happened since I woke up. First of all, I am no longer going to refer to Lisa as my sister because she is not my sister any longer. I woke up this morning and felt like complete shit and didn't want to get up. I went and got a pregnancy test and thank fucking god I am not pregnant. It was bittersweet because we have been trying to get pregnant for a while now and I never thought I'd be so glad to see I wasn't pregnant. I am really upset over the way things have turned out and now I am having these weird feelings that I want to be pregnant after all. I don't know what's going on but it's just adding on another difficult layer of shit going on right now. A little while later I left the house to get groceries and when I opened my mailbox there was a letter in it from Lisa. After I got home I opened it and read it. 
I am not going to rewrite it because I cannot even stand to look at the letter again. Basically it said that she apologizes for how things turned out and she explained to me that she was very vulnerable after losing her husband. That after spending so much time with my husband she started to fall for him and that she thought she wouldn't ever love anyone else again so when she realized she loved my husband she knew she couldn't let him go. No one else can fill the hole in her heart. Lisa promised they never physically did anything before that kiss I caught them in and she went on to say she needs me in her life and that she hopes I can forgive her. I can't write any more about this right now I might add in the rest later. I am a fucking mess. Rick called me a little while ago. I didn't pick up the phone so he texted me and told me that he still loves me and that we can find a way to work this out. I don't know what the fuck that means since he just left me for Lisa. Now I'm really confused because now that I'm not pregnant, I want to be, and I want my marriage to not be over even though I hate him for what he's done to me. And why would he text me that? Is he changing his mind? I am so confused. I wish these past few days never happened so there would be nothing wrong still. I know I shouldn't forgive him if he wants another chance but 10 years of marriage. We were going to be parents. Fug I am so confused and hurt I can't even think straight. Update 2. Hello everybody. First of all, thank you for all your advice. Thank you for all the people that PM'd me. I didn't want to make an update but I feel like you guys deserve to know what happened after all the help I received. One of the most common questions I got was about my mother. Well, I talked to my mother again and she informed me that she has known about my sister having a thing for my husband for quite some time. She didn't want to tell me because she said she was trying to get my sister to give up the idea and she did not want me to be hurt. She got my sister to agree to let it go a few months ago and never heard anything more about it so she thought it was over. In the letter I got in the mail, I did not want to write it all down because it was very painful. A few days has passed and I am ready to share some more information but please don't ask for more because I am simply not comfortable sharing the rest of the letter. In the letter Lisa apologized for her behavior but also went on to blame me and said that I flaunted my happiness in front of her with my husband. She wrote she couldn't stand to see how happy we were and how he genuinely loved me and she had no one. She told me I should have reached out to her alone and that I had no business getting my husband involved. I don't even know what that is supposed to mean. He's my damn husband, I am not supposed to involve him in a serious matter like that? She also went on to say that my husband told her he never really loved me and that she was who he really wanted to be with and asked me to not contact him. She wants me to go through her if I want to say anything to him. And that she will bring over the divorce papers in a few weeks. I have had a few days to process this information but the more I think about it, the more confusing it seems to me. Then I got more information today. Lisa is pregnant. She's, fugging, pregnant. She says it's Rick's. Rick called me as soon as he heard my father informed me. I picked up the phone only because I wanted to hear how he could lie to my face and tell me nothing happened between them before that kiss. He told me that he was so sorry and he didn't want it to happen this way. That my father wasn't supposed to tell me. I started crying and asked him how he could get pregnant with Lisa when we were trying for a baby. Then he said something that stunned me so much my head is still spinning from it. Rick told me he could still get me pregnant if I wanted. WTF? I screamed at him why the fug would I want to be pregnant with his child when he is a piece of shit. He told me he wanted to be with both me and my sister and that he thinks he is polyamorous. I was so shocked that I started laughing. After I stopped laughing he tried to say something else then I heard Lisa enter the room and ask who he was on the phone with. He said nobody and hung up. A little later my sister texted me and told me she would bring over the divorce papers in a week and expected me to sign them on the spot as my husband is giving me everything. She gave me a heads up that they are getting married next month and I am invited to the wedding if I agree to pretend like I was never even romantically involved with my husband. I am. Literally, at such a loss right now. Who the F is this man and where is the one I married? Why the F after all this shit do I still want to be with him even though I know I can't be? I just want the man I've been with for the past 10 years back. I hate Lisa and no longer consider her my sister. She has ruined my entire life. But what do I do about my husband? He just texted me right now saying he still wants to be with me, loves me, and wants a baby with me. Why is he doing this to me? Why am I even considering it, fug? Update 3. I know this update is long overdue. To be honest, the reason why I didn't update anymore was because I made pretty poor decisions that I was ashamed of and didn't want to face the reality of my situation. I wish I could come here and tell you all that I was strong and cut Rick and Lisa out of my life and moved on with my life, updating to tell you how much better off I am without them a year later. Sadly. That is not the case. I fucked up bad. One commenter told me that I have something called a sad person brain. I remember reading it and being in denial but now that so much time has passed. This was absolutely the truth. 
I wanted to do anything to make my pain stop. So I did. I would appreciate if I didn't get reamed for the choices I made. What is done is done and I need help now. Thank you in advance. If you remember my last post, Rick and I were trying to get pregnant before he left me for my sister. And wanted to even after he did because he thought he might be polyamorous. At the time I laughed at him because of how absurd it was. But after he hung up that call. The offer got more and more tempting. I started thinking about it. Becoming enraged at my sister for doing what she did to me. Thinking that I could get back at her by doing it. Throwing it in her face that her new boyfriend doesn't love her more than me after all. I was so angry that I heavily considered doing it. The more I thought about it, the more I wanted to out of sheer petty revenge. Don't get me wrong. I also wanted my husband and my life back. But the thought of seeing my sister's newfound happiness and smugness over me come crashing down gave me a pleasure that I never would have imagined. My sister tried very hard to keep my contact with Rick Limited. I think she was afraid he would come back to me if she didn't. She was only able to accomplish this for a few months. Rick tried to contact me in numerous ways during this time but it was always very brief. I was still angry and non-receptive to his advances. But he started becoming more and more aggressive. Telling me how much he loved me, how much he missed me, and how much he still wanted me. I even tried blocking him on certain social media accounts but he kept trying on others. I know I should have just blocked him on everything but I just couldn't. The more he tried, the harder it was for me to say no. Unfortunately this resulted in us getting back together. I told him I wouldn't stay with him unless he left my sister. He swore to me up and down he loved me more than anything and facing losing me made him realize it and that my sister was nothing to him. Everything was amazing between us again. It was like old times and like my sister didn't even exist when he was with me. Yet every night he would go back to her. Stupidly I decided to believe him when he said he was just waiting for the right time and excuse after excuse about how bad he felt for her. Things felt so much better when he was back with me. I didn't want to lose him again. Unfortunately I ended up getting pregnant because I did not recontinue my birth control from when we were trying for a child before any of this happened. At the time we were both ecstatic and everything seemed like it was a dream come true. I had my husband back, we were having a child, and my life was no longer in pieces. I was so happy that I turned a blind eye to everything obviously fugged up about the situation. I didn't want to see it, I just wanted to stay happy. It wasn't long before Lisa found out. My entire family turned on me. My parents told me how it seems like I did this just out of retaliation and to hurt Lisa. They weren't completely wrong but I mainly just wanted my old life back. Long story short, Lisa went absolutely berserk. She threatened to kill me and sent me a long list of never-ending harassing texts, emails, and calls. I endured hell from her and my family for months until I had to get a protective order. This only resulted in my family hating me even more. Now none of them will speak to me, and Rick has been issued an ultimatum by them to cut me off or be cut off. He hasn't decided on what he is going to do yet but it seems like he is leaning towards cutting me off as he has been communicating with me less and less these past weeks. Not to mention there has been mounting pressure from the family for him to finalize the divorce but it hasn't happened for various reasons. The last thing he told me was that he feels badly but that he loves her and passive-aggressively insinuated that I tempted him into trying to get back with me. Which is complete bullshit because he was the one who kept perusing me. He said that I shouldn't have gotten pregnant because now I've made his life so much harder. How I let myself believe he was the man I married again is beyond me. Now all I see is how clouded my judgment has been and the utter mess I've gotten myself into. How I wanted to be happy again so bad I destroyed my life even more trying to get that back. I'm eight months pregnant and scared. I don't know how I can raise this baby alone. I really don't want to give her up for adoption. And the pain of losing my husband twice is unbearable. Even though I know it was because of my own stupidity. I still love him and can't believe everything he has done to me. Losing my entire family over this has also been a huge kick when I'm at rock bottom. Most of our mutual friends have distanced themselves from us because no one wants to take sides but it's obvious they are all quite disgusted with the way things have turned out. I have no one left now. Please help me read it. How the hell can I fix the mess I've made my life into?